Hi guys, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom. Today's question is coming in from a viewer named Donna, and she basically is a mom of young kids. Um, they're all sleeping through the night now, but she's asking me, she's having a lot of trouble sleeping, and she's asking if I have any advice on sleeping and what can help. And yes, I do, because I've been through this a lot, and um, actually had a really tough time with sleep, especially when I was filming a lot of the baby's first year videos that you might see on the site. Um, so here, here's my advice, and I hope it's helpful. And I'll obviously talk to other friends also and talk to your doctor. Number one, I would get off the computer and the iPhone and the iPad and the TV at least an hour before bedtime, even more if you can. This is what was really hurting me, and I still fall into it sometimes. I'm working late or I'm catching up on stuff with the kids, or I'm answering emails, and then I try to go to bed and my brain is racing. And from what I've read, the light from those devices, including the television, is basically convincing your brain that it's daytime and that you should be awake. So it's very confusing. Really what you wanna do is read with a low light and you know that can be super, super helpful. And I found myself, if I'm off all that stuff, even like two hours before going to bed, it's super helpful. Number two, caffeine. Caffeine affects us all differently. My husband can have like a triple espresso at 11 o'clock at night and be fine. I cannot. I actually can't have any caffeine after 12 o'clock p.m. If I have a decaf coffee at 5 p.m., I'm not sleeping. Even That decaf has very little caffeine, but I'm still not sleeping. I could never have it at night. I cannot have a cup of tea after the morning. So what I do is I have a huge cup of coffee at like 6 a.m. when I'm like getting going, getting my first one on the bus, all that. And then at around like 11 a.m., often if I'm able to go to yoga or whatever, like mid-morning, I have like a big strong decaf coffee that still gives me a bit of a boost. But I don't have any caffeine after that first cup at 6 a.m. And that's been really helpful. And tied in with that is chocolate. I love chocolate. I love chocolate bars, I love chocolate chip cookies, I love chocolate cake, but guess what? I can't have a huge piece of chocolate cake at like nine o'clock at night and get a good night's sleep. And here's the next thing, and isn't it all just so much fun because as we get a little older, some of the things we were able to do when we were younger just don't apply anymore. And here's what's been the most depressing to me as I've started my 40s, wine. I actually have trouble sleeping when I have more than like one glass of wine, especially late. Like if I'm like, oh, I had such a hard day, I'm just gonna unwind, have a glass of wine with my book before I go to bed. Often I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, bing, and I think it's the sugar from the wine, it's sort of acting as a stimulant and making it hard for me to sleep. This obviously affects people in different ways, but I would consider if you'd like to have a glass of wine, push it up earlier, okay? And here's my two more pieces of advice. <laughs> I get in a constant fight with Mark, my beloved husband, because he's always stressed about work and he checks email all during the night and sends himself email messages. And what I try to tell him to do is write this stuff down on a piece of paper because obviously that's better. You're not getting the light from the phone and all that. He hasn't done it yet. But further to that, I think what's important is to try to find a way to slow your brain down. If you're worried about a million things you have to do, definitely make a list. Look at your calendar for the next day, figure out when you'll get them done, and that will make you feel more calm. That will help you sleep. Reading also will help your sleep. But of all of these tips, the number one thing that has dramatically helped my sleep was eating an earlier dinner. And what I do is I eat with the kids now. I used to eat with Mark at eight or nine at night. Now I eat with the kids at five or six. Try to get it all in. My meal, my salad, my fruit, everything, my cup of tea. And then I do my stuff. Hopefully I see Mark, we like watch a little bit of TV, not too late, do all that. And by 10 o'clock, I try to go to bed when we don't have to be out. This has been amazingly helpful. And actually studies show that when you eat a good three hours before your bedtime, it can really, really help you sleep. So anyway, those are some tips on how to get a better night's sleep. I hope they're helpful. Oh, and go to bed as early as you can. Um, please weigh in if there are other things that are work for you. It's a big issue for us moms because we have to be taking care of so much during the day. And thank you guys all so much for watching. Cloud Mom.